do you want the edge over the other radiology students before you get into school? Do these things and I guarantee you will stand out above all the other students. The first thing is to know how to measure with your hands and fingers. Know how much an inch is when you spread your finger out or from your pinky to your thumb if it's between seven and nine inches. You will need to know this exactly. This will help you out when you get to clinical. There have been times where I had to turn down a competency from a student because they were off-centered and they promised me they had measured three or four inches below a certain point on the patient's body. When they showed me three or four inches, it was clearly not exactly three or four inches. It was a lot more. This caused them to be off-centered and to lose that competency. This hurt the student. There are quite a few things that we do as x-ray technologists that we will need to have a general idea of length with our fingers, unless you want to carry a ruler around. Displayed here on the left shows a chest x-ray. We measure seven inches below C7 or the vertebral prominence. Most people between their pinky and the tip of their thumb is around seven inches. But you'll need to know this, so you want to be dead center on T7. Here on the right, we also palpate the iliac crest for many of our views. Some views will say three or four inches above the crest or three or four inches below the crest. You will need to know how many fingers equal those many inches. So if you want to stand out clinically among your other students and excel, you need to know how much certain inches are being measured by using your hands or fingertips to fingertips. So I recommend take different items and measure dollar bill, CD, um, DVD case, take all those things and estimate and judge how much you think that is and then measure and see if you are correct. The second thing is to learn how to measure 40 inches. Our views are typically done at 40 inches minimum. Our book says that it can be anything higher than 40 inches, but you can be no less than 40 inches. So most of our images are for ortho, uh, for most of our procedures, abdomens are at a 40 inch distance from the tube bottom to the plate that the image is being placed on. On the left, you can see this is for mobile. And also on the right, when we Im image a patient in our x-ray room, everything is done at 40 inches or greater. So at home, take a box and place it over a bed or a table and estimate on how much 40 inches is and test yourself. If you can do this before radiology school and to know 40 inches just from um, looking and just from knowing from practice, you will stand out clinically among all your other students. The third thing is the most difficult and what most students struggle with, even some technologists still today. And if you can practice this and master this before school, you'll be way ahead of your peers. Here you can see setting up for a cross table hip x-ray, shooting the x-ray through the side. The imaging plate, which is known as the IR, is placed next to the patient's hip. And the uh, camera, the, uh, the x-ray tube itself, is placed where it's facing that imaging plate. Now that plate needs to be exactly parallel to the front of that x-ray tube which in the book sense will say that the CR, which is the x-rays coming out of the tube, needs to be perpendicular to that plate. So when you think about it, the front of that x-ray tube needs to be completely parallel with an imaging plate. And you can see that here on the right, that red line on the imaging plate on the left of the patient and the red line on the x-ray tube needs to be exactly parallel. And this is key. If you do not, if you have it off a little, a little bit, even just a little bit of an angle, uh, either the x-ray tube angled a little bit or the imaging plate angled a little bit off, you will have what we call grid cutoff and the image will not come out successfully. Your index numbers will be low and you'll have to repeat your image. This is the most important thing and you can go ahead and practice this before becoming a radiology student. Here's another image from a cross table hip viewed from the other side. As you can see on the right, the front of that x-ray tube is completely parallel with that imaging plate. You may not think it's difficult, but it really is. So how you practice at home, get yourself a picture frame or a box, two boxes and set them on a table 
and get that box at least 40 inches, if not more, away from each other and try to angle that box that you're holding exactly identical to the picture frame on the wall or on the table. You can practice this over and over again with two different flat items and make sure they are parallel with each other. Again, mastering this, you will be a super tech. You will be a super student. One bonus item to learn before becoming a radiology student to master before in school is to learn how to find the iliac crest, which is labeled as number one, the very top of the pelvis. You'll be feeling this and palpating this on most of the patients for exams such as L-spine, pelvis, abdomen, hip, femur, sacrum, coccyx, SI joint, a lot of those. So practice on a child, a spouse, on yourself. You really have to kind of dig in to feel it, feel the top of the rind part. This is where a lot of your centering is going to be. Also, number two, find the greater trochanter. This is the very top of the femur where um, you can feel if you wiggle your leg or wag your leg back and forth left to right and you press on the side of your leg you can feel that little protrusion poking out which is a greater trochanter there's a lot of videos on this on youtube i recommend trying but again if you can find these things on uh, on anybody you'll be way ahead of the other students we'd like to thank rad tech credits for allowing us to use their video please check them out rad tech credits is a fairly new company that now offers 24 CEU credits for only $20. They also have a podcast where you can learn and hear of the um, technologists that are really doing outstanding things in their field. So please check them out and give them support, radtechcredits.com. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any ideas for future videos, please let us know. Remember, always advance, never repeat.